So my little nephew asked me to make some fruit gummies like Welch's for Christmas. I know I sound like Neurosmith, but I'm being dead serious. He told me, Uncle Jay can make anything, so let's reverse engineer this. The main ingredient in Welch's is fruit puree, but I'm using fruit juice concentrate to remove any type of filtration step. The process is very involved as this. But first steps, preparing the sugar solution. And yes, this is a lot of sugar, but it's candy. Let's be real, candy is not healthy. Plus sugar concentration affects the structure. I'm trying to make it look professional here. With that being said, I also added pectin, which is one of the thickening agents in Welch's, as well as gelatin. To bloom the gelatin, I added a little bit of each juice concentrate to separate containers. But back to the sugar solution, I added pectin before boiling and also some corn syrup to help prevent crystallization. Again, we're going for professional, not cheap. Once it starts to boil, I stop mixing to avoid any crystallization forming. And I wait for the temperature to reach 112 degrees. This is the softball stage of candy making. Once it's here, I cut the heat and let it cool down a little bit and I add the citric acid. This will not only help the pectin set, but it will also bring out the natural flavors in the juice. I then take the syrup and add a little bit to each of the bloom gelatin containers and mix until thoroughly incorporated. And once it's all ready, I just carefully and painstakingly fill these molds. I love Munchkin, but I appreciate this. This took a lot of work. But once filled, I refrigerate it overnight to allow the molds to set. But then there's one final step. I combine neutral oil with a little bit of carnauba wax at 5% concentration to make the outer coating. And then carefully coat each gummy with this. Why? Because I'm going for professional quality gummies. Professional quality gummies do have this layer of carnauba wax to prevent them from sticking together. Plenty of gummies omit the step, but I'm trying to impress a very picky four-year-old. And look how shiny it looks. Thanks for watching.